This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Al Kane, and today I'm doing a little bit of this because I received these fantastic decals for this most amazing figure. I really, really enjoyed the Bumblebee movie concept art, uh, you know, uh, studio series, Sunstreaker. Fantastic figure, great mold, great transformation. A lot of people are complaining about the kibble on the hand and the legs. I don't care. The transformation is so fun and it the robot parts are covered so smoothly that this figure is absolutely worth it. And now with these decals, uh, so you know, a lot of gunmetal on uh, foil backing and then some orange on uh, vinyl uh, backing. Uh, gonna be interesting. Some other orange here and I really like the look of that Autobot logo. So yeah. Looking forward to that. So before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. All right, taking a fast look at Sunstreaker. Love already the details, the gunmetal, the the red, a little bit here. Uh, the face sculpt looks really good. I'm hoping there's no ice decals. I haven't seen anything. Uh, the traditional ears, um, you know, a little silver here, silver highlight. You know, definitely the Bumblebee uh, movie uh, type of shoes. A uh, little bit of uh, kibble. You know, you can move this around like this if you want it. Uh, not stick out but I prefer the cleaner look uh, from the front view um, you have the nice uh, details for the wheels you know the back cleans up real nice uh, but he could use a uh, you know little uh, I do like the clear uh, window I know there's stickers for that so uh, we'll see they're not gonna be cell shaded as this is Cybertronian and uh, I've never seen a Sun on Cybertron so maybe uh, you know makes sense that there's no cell shaded stuff I don't know uh, it's just me running my mouth. You have uh, what I'm guessing is, well, it doesn't look like window decals. Uh, so probably that's going to be the front end and then maybe crotch and other area. I don't know. Uh, that's the vinyl. Uh, a lot more metal decals. Uh, yeah. A lot of pin covers. That's cool. I like those. Black and uh, yellow. Uh, lots of gunmetal parts. Um, some lights, I'm guessing and yeah and then here the uh those are the window decals so and then this uh, really nice autobot logo and then two other logos to go along with so yeah looks good can't wait to apply it and uh well let's take a look at it right now he looks fantastic now like even more and cool thing first uh thing that i noticed that he has guns decals and that's extremely rare with toy hacks so i'm happy that they uh, they did that and it's one of those decals that uh, there's a, you know, it wraps around a, uh, a molded detail. So that's really cool. Uh, I, yeah, sorry, I went right in for the accessories, but I just wanna get them out now so that I can give you a full view of the figure. And I think Toy Hacks really did um, something great. And the fact that this is, you know, a figure that it's like a first release, you know, there's no, other to compare with except inspiration from uh, G1 continuity because there was never another Sunstreaker uh, like character there was toys uh, here and there but you know he's not the most popular unfortunately but the fact that this is you know does not compare to anything else uh, there's no screen appearances of this guy they could be really creative and I think they really nailed it so you have a you know a decal here that's a headlight you have, they replaced, like, you had a Autobot logo here, which they covered, uh, but they gave you two little uh, Autobot logo here on the shoulders. There's leftovers, because if you want to use the non-Autobot uh, uh, version, you, there's uh, options for that right here. And, uh, yeah, what's left is uh, those two here as well, those two little things. 
uh, just for um, you know replacement if you need them uh, on the uh, alt mode I'll show you where uh, so you have uh, a little bit of uh, light here uh, cool thing they match the uh, the ears now they're uh, with the uh, headlight colors I think that's original that's really cool you have uh, well that's gonna show more in alt mode so we'll go with that uh, you have uh, you know decals here so you bend the knee and then you install a little headlight uh, I'm gonna refer it to as headlight but you know it's just a knee decal and with a little uh, details around it so that looks good uh, nothing for the feet itself uh, this is really alt mode stuff tons of pin covers you actually you use them all so you have two here's uh, and then two here you have uh, underneath uh, here on both side and then maybe that's this one's gonna be hard to show but there's one right there uh, so you have that uh, where else oh yeah you have twist this you have two here and then you have really hard to see but you do have one uh, here and then on the same spot here so uh, yellow and black or gunmetal all used up uh, that's cool and am I missing uh, there's one here and I think that's it or we'll find some more during the uh, alt mode oh one here underneath the wrist there you go so yeah I mean quite a lot of pin, pin covers and there's uh, no leftovers so I like that all right so that's Sunstreaker in robot mode so now let's go ahead and transform him in alt mode I really love this mold it's it's really great uh, you know the nice like the, you can't see the feet here and that's amazing even from underneath they're hard to, to see so I like that I like the little details nice grill uh, kind of they kind of look like headlights but I mean gunmetal for headlights kind of weird but the blue looks really nice um, clear window gunmetal here a little bit of red in the back uh, very plain back end um, yeah uh, I like the wheels I'm you know I don't think that there's gonna be decals for that but it's uh, really well done that uh, with the really uh, little uh, tiny slit here so no I like that and the air intakes who are now more cannons than anything so all right final look at Sunstreaker before the decals now let's uh, look at him with the decals and now you can see a huge difference first again the air intake uh, or the guns now uh, with the decal that wraps around looks good I'm gonna take that out what you'll see is uh, the same head like you had on the shoulders then you have six decals uh, right here you have the same thing that uh, transferred from the uh, the arms uh, you have uh, decals here like this used to be just one row and this was all yellow and uh, but now it wraps around it uh, it's uh, if you look at it this way uh, you can still see some of the yellow, uh, but if you look at it from the front, it looks perfect. Uh, you have a decal uh, right here. Uh, the gunmetal here with uh, some uh, nice details. Uh, that's pretty cool. Forgot to turn on the light. So you have some nice details here. You have a little red uh, highlight. Uh, and then you have the Autobot logo in the windshield um, covered. And then no more translucent blue. Same for the side. Really nicely done fits perfectly you have the rest of the front end so you have a little orange decal here so these are clear decals that go over the yellow uh, and give it a nice highlight the Autobot logo is optional but I had to use it because I think it's really it's a different color it's really nice and then you have the gunmetal with the uh, the orange decal goes underneath the new kind of uh, it, I don't want to say headlight it looks more like a chaser you know uh, and then you have a new uh, well this used to be gunmetal in blue so they covered the gunmetal with an orange stripe and then added some uh, had, you know that type of headlights uh, looks really good yep on the side you do have a new Cybertronian writing that's probably saying awesome or great or amazing because you know it's Sunstreaker so you have one here one here and one here and then you have the whole line here uh two decals and then a little uh you know 
little cover right there. And then what else do we have? Well, there's a light here. And then you have the new back end. So you have uh, decals that, uh, underneath. And you have a nice, I guess, bumper decal. Looks really good. I cannot complain one bit about this set. I didn't know what to expect. I just really like, I you know, what sold me is that kind of sun. Like, you know, when the sun is setting down and you have like that yellow and orange all mixed together. It kind of reminded me of that. So he kind of reminds me a bit of uh, the other conversion kit they did with Sideswipe. This one here. So I really think these two, you know, go really well together. So, you know, Earth Mode, Sideswipe. Uh, GQ now who's been known uh, in this form as Synthwave and I really dig this whole you know late 80s early 90s decal set and I think this goes super well with this uh, this set too like different color but the same kind of you know sunset look let's, let's go with sunset look so I really dig these two cars side by side so they're on the lambro shelf and they look amazing let's give him back his air intake and uh, well put an end to the review right here thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back after more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care